What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to testing an absolute trolling robot right here. Something that haven't I haven't made a video on this yet, even though it offers itself for this particular setup. The trolling raven, not the assassin raven, the vortex and aphid raven. We have two of those here, and I want to show you guys how insane you can make this movement, you know, abilities that the raven has, the constant jumping, uh, to make the vortex and aphid more effective in hitting very accurately by coming in from higher above. If somebody is going to attack you can jump backwards and escape and uh, you can even capture some beacons here with a raven right and uh, that's what we're gonna do here ladies and gentlemen and if you like the content and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel then do it now as you see here on screen with a notification bell for to get notified when the next videos come see the second jump was much shorter and much um, uh, you know much less distance that we covered on that one and well, I mean, we could expect that not to be a perfect hit. Because let's face it. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's going to land and... Boom! Did you see that, man? With the jump, I was able to make the perfect angle of, uh, of impact for these rockets. And, uh, oh, maybe he's not going to jump. Oh, 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 oh. Woohoo! I don't know why, but this Inquisitor is not yet stealth jumping. He probably wanted to get free of his of his um, suppression for, or lockdown first before he stealth jumps and that's why he got killed so this inquisitor there is now stealthing but it's too late he's already pretty much destroyed what do we have here in front of us oh and uh, I just tried to jump away but I happen to have a Leo right behind me and I jump backwards against the Leo uh okay all right so we have Boom, and hopsa! Yep, that comes the damage. That's right. We we were able to make this a really good hit. Oh, a rhino. And fire. And boom! <laughs> yes! It's not as much damage as the Vortex Spectre or the uh, Vortex Leech because we have two light and two medium weapons here. Uh, but we have a great amount of damage output nonetheless. Boom! As you see right here, these things do a lot of damage. They hurt. They really hurt. And, uh, yeah, and you have this mobility uh, extra that you can make use of to get these enemies in exactly the kind of position that you want to have them. Okay. I'm not sure if he's coming for me, but I'm going to try and make sure he's not going to get me. Bam, 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 bam. There he goes. He had his resistance down, so that was the perfect moment to strike. And every aphid or vortex was, was a nice hit. What do we have here? Oh, it's a titan. And boom. Ah, that boom is just not very satisfying. These things just have way too much HP. Okay, hold on. Jumping after and boom. Now that was a more satisfying boom because his resistance was down. Nice job with your magnums, Leo. Nice job. I like you. I like you. You're constantly firing and dealing damage to these guys. And you're constantly doing, doing a great job. Fire and... Oh, the phase shift lasted way longer than I expected. I didn't expect that phase shift to last that long. So maybe... Uh-oh. Hold on. Let's send these from super high above. Fire and... Boom! Did you see how we bypassed the physical shield on that Lancelot? With this nice perfect hit that came in from high above. And... Ah, uh, the phase shift. Grr, frustrating things. I think the Lancelot is now getting this no he's not yet getting destroyed I think it needs some vortex for that that's right so what is this is that this is a specter with shock trains right it's a shock train specter okay and boom 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 what dude I did full damage to the guy that I was aiming at and I killed something else too I somehow doubled my damage even though the vortex or aphid doesn't have splash damage I was somehow able to have something similar to splash damage going on right here. And fire, 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 and boom, 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 boom. Rampage. And that's what you can do if nobody cares about your vortex or aphid or whatever. Okay, and uh, there's a titan and there is a smaller robot. I'd rather fight the smaller robot because the titan just doesn't lose a lot of health. What is this? Is this a specter? No, it's not. And... 
boom! Boy, he was sitting completely still when these rockets hit. Man, you should really have kept moving. You should really not have sit still like that. And it's even a Loki. He could stealth, right? Is it not a Loki? I think it was a Loki. He could have stealthed. And here we go. And waiting for it. There's the weapons are back. Resistance on this guy is down. And kill. Boom. Titan Slayer. Okay. Let's jump back behind this obstacle, but still behind cover, as you see here. And boom. See that? He can't hit me here. Uh-ohs. Uh, now they could. Now they could hit me. I'm gonna face shift once. I've, I think I've earned myself one face shift, right? Are we agree on that, guys? D did I earn myself one face shift here with this vortex and aphid power? And that titan is just not very happy. He doesn't like me so much, I think. He just really feels like this raven is a bit annoying here. Jumping up, and at the highest point, Zetu! Boom! Uh-oh. Oh, I'm afraid of this Vortex Spectre. If he hits me right, then I'm instantly down to last stand. And fire, and boom! Nice hit, Vortex Spectre! This Titan is going down. This guy is losing his, uh, his, his last stand. And that's it. Wow, we've just used one of them. Oh, no. That's bad. And boom. Good hit, though. Oh, they respawned uh, with two bots at the same time, it seems. Let's see if we can hit this guy. Bro hint behind his, his obstacle there. And boom. Ha-ha. You're not safe. You're never safe. Okay, his shield, I think his shield is now going to go. And here, bam, bam, bam. There we go. He felt safe again for some weird reason. Let's wait for him to get locked if possible. Or, yeah, we don't have the time. We have to take... Oh, and the Leo is still there. Leo, you are my hero. This Leo did just such an amazing job. Oh, no, he's getting killed now. No, wait, he's got way too much HP. Look, the f the he can't barely kill him. He can't kill him. He's got too much health. Hold on, hold on, and uppercut! Boom! <laughs> I love it. I love this. It's so good. This is such a fun setup. Seriously, with constant jumping all the time having vortex rain on the enemy. Let's do another beacon rush. We even did the highest amount of damage and the enemy had some platooning going on. Let's do another beacon rush match and, and just rain more of those things, right? Let's just do one more. A seven minute long video is not... Not enough fun. I think there could be more, more entertaining sequences. Let's start with the other color this time. Oh, it seems the match was already going on. And fire. And boom! <laughs> I barely spawned in the match. First guy already killed. All right. So, ah, there's another one. And fire. And boom! <laughs> Yo, I guess this guy's taken care of. So what is happening here? Oh, we have a little... Hold on, let's jump to get the better angle and fire. And boom! Alright, that was not a big boom, but it was a boom after all, yeah, regardless. Okay, is he going to stand still? No, he's not. I need to people that are locked. Locked down people are the best enemies. Boom! Nice. Oh god, okay. Let's do some uppercutting here. I think I don't need to uppercut him because he's all ready. And boom! Okay. Is that an enemy behind me? Okay, it's not, thankfully. Getting myself in safety because there is a flying out show now. And hold on, hold on, this guy. And boom! <laughs> it's just too good. Now he's activating his shield because he had a little, little poop pile in his pants after that hit. So, um, he was very unsure what to do at this point. One, two, three, four. Bam, 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 bam. And, uh, uh oh. Look what we see here. We have a aphid thermite, um, aphid thermite vo uh, uh, Leo right there. Uh, but he didn't see us yet. The falcon saw us, though. And I think that is a fan, uh, a fan. Oh, wait. What the? Okay, okay. He's flying in. Fire, jump once, and jump a second time, and while flying away... yoo Boom! Some damage for... the enemy. 
Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm screwed now. I don't think I have much of a chance. But you know what? I have another one, yes. This guy just stealth jumped. Or stealth flown, rather. He flew all the way over here. Attacked us. Son of a gun. Let's see if we can make his last stand release. Okay. Uh, I don't think that worked. And he's probably gonna come for us now. Okay. That's a good moment to strike because he had his resistance down. As you see here, we've done a ton of damage to him again. And he's going down. There's no doubt about it. He is going down. And his last stand is not yet released. Uh, fire. Uh, almost. Uh, he's flying again. He got another stealth flight. That was not supposed to happen. I wanted to get him before he gets the stealth uh, jump back. Okay, let's sink it. And here we go. Boom. Good hit. Is that still him? You've got to be kidding me. Okay, I think he's now dead. Yeah, and fire. And hit. Boom. Wow. That is good damage. He's gonna jump on us in a second. Let's make these things come in a bit more from above and fire. Ah, that didn't work because he's jumped. He was waiting for that jump. Okay, I'm trying to prevent the beacon cap here. And fire. And boom. See, it's still our beacon. I managed to prevent them from getting it. This guy tries to be safe behind this wall. Oh no, he's now face shifting, okay. And fire. Let's see. And boom! Almost gotten the lan- uh, not Lancelot. The leech robot there. I think we need to get some beacons from these guys. Maybe I should try and regenerate double stealth. Uh, okay, I think I have it. Am I locked or something? What's going- I can't jump! Okay, I was in fact- I was actually locked. Alright, alright, and fire, and boom! Oh, I'm not sure if I was still able to get this guy hit. Uh, and my team is definitely losing this match now. Unless we can somehow get all those beacons back. Making this Inquisitor stealth jump, definitely a good job and near the end here. We have three of four beacons now, but it's not going to suffice in uh, getting all those titans out of the way. For that, we need to pack a bigger punch. I'm hoping that if I uh, spawn here now... And that I fly up, I hope they don't get the beacon. Oh, they do. They do get the beacon, though. They are getting the beacon, but not anymore. And we still need more beacons. They have more than we do. Okay, you know what? I think we lost this one, but it's okay. I just, I just wanted to show the Vortex Spectre in action with Aphid. And I feel like we did have a decent amount of fun with this, even though we lost the second match. Can't win them all, right? And uh, But you can try, right? And I did try, although it's hard to try and win a match on Beacon Base a Control when you're running a Vortex or Aphid setup, because those just can't mess in short range. You have to constantly run away from the enemy. That means they will constantly get beacons and you have to abandon those. But yeah, so fun, definitely. A really, really good setup. I like that. I, I think this is kind of one of the most fun things you can put on the Raven, I think. And you know how much I love Vortex and Aphid and Thermite. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with you. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. 